published 1700 est the 25th of November 2017 updated 0232 est the 26th of November 2017 the new series of the crown has provoked uproar by implicating prince philip in the profumo affair which scandalized britain in the early 1960s in one fictitious scene, the Queen confronts her husband about the nature of his relationship with Stephen Ward, the high society osteopath and fixer who procured women for leading members of the establishment. Elizabeth, played by Claire Foy, is also shown conspiring to keep details of Philip's involvement out of the public domain. The new series of The Crown has provoked uproar by implicating Prince Philip in the Profumo affair which scandalized Britain in the early 1960s. Pictured Claire Foy as the Queen, left, and Matt Smith as Prince Philip, right the drama's decision to implicate Prince Philip in one of Britain's most damaging sex scandals comes just days after the couple celebrated their 70th wedding anniversary. Historians last night accused the programme, made by American entertainment giant Netflix, of crossing a line. The Profumo scandal of 1963 was sparked by the revelation that John Profumo, the then Minister of War, had had an affair with nightclub hostess Christine Keeler while she was also dating the Russian military attaché, Yevgeny Ivanov. Profumo resigned in disgrace and Ward, who had befriended Profumo, Keeler and her friend Mandy Rice Davies, killed himself before he was sentenced for living off immoral earnings. In one fictitious scene, the Queen confronts her husband about the nature of his relationship with Stephen Ward played by Richard Linton, above the high society osteopath and fixer who procured women for leading members of the establishment. It is known that Ward, who was a gifted artist, painted a picture of the prince. But the new series of The Crown, written by Peter Morgan, goes beyond historic fact in a scene where Philip reacts favorably towards offer of a weekend away with guests including Keeler and Rice Davies. The two men meet in April 1962 when the prince seeks Ward's help for neck pain. The pair quickly hit it off when they discover they have a mutual friend in Mike Parker, the prince's former private secretary who, according to The Crown, led the prince astray on nights out and royal visits. Ward suggests the prince joins them for a weekend party. Philip is drawn towards a portrait on a mantelpiece. When he asks whose portrait it is, Ward replies, Oh, Christine. Shall be there and Mandy will be there too. Philip then replies, Do you know my neck's feeling better already? It is known that Ward, who was a gifted artist, painted a picture of the prince. Pictured the drawing the episode then leaps forward to 1963 and the breaking scandal in the news. Rumours begin to grow that a mystery man photographed with his back to the camera at one of Ward's parties is Philip. The Queen's worst fears are compounded when she learns that detectives found a portrait of Philip in Ward's flat. When the Queen confronts Philip, he insists he never attended any of the parties. Royal historian Christopher Wilson said the producers of the show were becoming increasingly elastic with the truth. He added, I think the show has crossed a line and stepped out of reality into fiction. Biographer Margaret Holder said rumors about Philip's involvement in the scandal persisted to this day. But she said the episode had clearly gone beyond what was a matter of public record. Christine Keeler was unavailable for comment. But a friend of Keeler said he was unaware that she had ever met Prince Philip. A spokesman for Buckingham Palace declined to comment. The Profumo scandal of 1963 was sparked by the revelation that John Profumo, the then Minister of War, had had an affair with nightclub hostess Christine Keeler while she was also dating the Russian military attaché, Yevgeny Ivanov. Pictured Keeler in Cannes in 1963, Profumo pictured resigned in disgrace and Ward, who had befriended Profumo, Keeler and her friend Mandy Rice Davies, killed himself before he was sentenced for living off immoral earnings.